if somebody has an ulcer in their foot, is there a common location? And what do you do for an ulcer in the foot? Yeah, I would say the, by far the most common locations for ulcers are on the toes and then under the ball of the foot, high, high traffic areas. So two things have to happen. Obviously, we have to have good wound care. And secondly, we have to find a way to offload that particular location because the pressure is the culprit here. So we're wound care. Wound care. So you've got a, an open hole there. Do you have to debris? Do you have to cover it? Do you have to put goop on it? All what? of that. All of that, <laughs> yes. So um, debridement means removing the devitalized tissue, the tissue that doesn't have a, an ability to heal, and getting down to the good, healthy tissue. That's what debridement is. Then we can do that with nippers and scalpels and stuff like that. Um, the goos that we put in, um, what we're trying to do there is decrease the bacteria that are in there so yeah. it doesn't get infected and then stimulate some underlying what we call granulation tissue. Granulation is the, is the good healthy tissue. Yeah, you try and get healthy Correct. tissue to come in mm -hmm. and take, take back over. Yeah, do people, do you have them elevate their feet or do you have them walk or limit their walking? Absolutely. So we use a host of different ways to try to get them off that foot. There might be special boots that we've made. It might just be a simple orthotic, but it might be one of those rolling knee scooters or crutches or a wheelchair. They can be that bad. So can you have free, I would imagine you have to see the patient back frequently because yes. you have to know if it's going downhill right. or if it's improving. Uh, yeah, these patients, we get to be really close friends. We, we see each <laughs> other every week, sometimes get to know each other's families. But so, um, it's the debridement is something that has to be done very regularly and you have to monitor make sure that the weight is being adequately reduced from that area so, so if somebody's got an area on the side of the foot I would anticipate you're gonna have to cover it with gauze and you're gonna have to keep a shoe off there because it would do nothing yeah, but put yeah, pressure on there yeah. and, and we have special surgical boots and shoes that we use to cover dressings yeah. what happens if it's at the bottom of the foot how do you attack staying away from that part. Well, again, that is the hardest location because every step you take, pressure goes right through that. And so once again, we try to, we try to use a combination of crutches or knee scooters. Um, you can make shoes that will elevate from the ball of the foot back to the heel so that when they stand, the pressure isn't under the ball of the foot. Um, but that's, that's not as common because that can offset your balance.